Have you ever wondered how animals grow and change? It's a fascinating journey, isn't it? We're about to unravel the mysteries of the animal kingdom, from the tiny caterpillar that transforms into a beautiful butterfly, to the playful dolphin that learns to leap and spin. We'll explore how animals look different as they grow, how they move in amazing ways, their incredible life cycles, and the cunning adaptations they develop to survive in their environment. So buckle up, adventurers! Get ready to embark on a thrilling journey into the animal kingdom. Think about your pet or a favorite animal. Have you noticed how it changes as it grows? For instance, imagine a tiny playful puppy. As it grows, its size increases, its bark deepens, and it might even grow a thicker, shinier coat. These are the changes that take place as an animal grows. However, there are also characteristics that remain constant. The puppy's breed, for instance, remains the same. Whether it's a Labrador or a German Shepherd, it won't change as the puppy grows into a dog. Now let's consider a different example. Picture a small, squishy caterpillar. As time passes, the caterpillar undergoes an incredible transformation, turning into a beautiful butterfly. This is a dramatic change, isn't it? But, like the puppy, there are also aspects that remain constant. The species of the butterfly, whether it's a monarch or a painted lady, stays the same throughout the transformation. In both these examples, we see that animals can change a lot as they grow. Their size, appearance, and even their abilities can change. But there are also aspects that remain the same, like their species or breed. So as animals grow, they can change quite a lot, can't they? Have you ever noticed how different animals move in different ways? Let's take a closer look. Snakes, for instance, slither along the ground, using their muscles and scales to propel themselves forward. This is perfect for navigating through tight spaces and tall grass. Now, consider kangaroos. They use their powerful hind legs to hop around. This method of movement is quite efficient for covering large distances in the open plains of Australia, their natural habitat. Then we have fish, who swim gracefully using their fins and tail. This type of movement is ideal for life in water, allowing them to navigate currents and evade predators with ease. And let's not forget birds, who have mastered the art of flying. With their lightweight bodies and strong wings, they soar through the sky, providing them with a bird's eye view of the world below. Each animal has its unique way of moving, doesn't it? Their methods of locomotion are wonderfully adapted to their environment and lifestyle, showcasing the incredible diversity of the animal kingdom. Every animal goes through a life cycle from birth to adulthood. But did you know these cycles can look very different? Let's take a peek at some of these cycles, beginning with insects. Many insects, like butterflies, have a life cycle that includes four stages. Egg, larva, pupa, and adult. The larva, or caterpillar, looks nothing like its parent butterfly, does it? But as it transforms inside the pupa, it emerges as a beautiful butterfly, ready to start the cycle all over again. Next, we have amphibians, such as frogs. They start their life as eggs that hatch into tadpoles. Now, tadpoles might look like little fish, but they grow legs and lose their tails as they mature into adult frogs. This process is called metamorphosis. Now, let's flutter over to birds. Birds hatch from eggs as chicks, often covered in fluffy down. As they grow, they develop feathers and their beaks become stronger. Unlike insects and amphibians, baby birds look a lot like their parents, just smaller and less developed. Our last stop is the world of mammals, like us humans or the playful dolphins. Mammals are born looking similar to their parents, although they are smaller and less capable. Over time, they grow and learn from their parents, developing the skills they need to survive on their own. Throughout these life cycles, animals also undergo behavioral changes. A caterpillar munches on leaves, while an adult butterfly sips nectar from flowers. Tadpoles breathe through gills underwater, but adult frogs breathe air and can live on land. Baby birds are fed by their parents, but they eventually learn to hunt or forage for food themselves. And mammal infants, whether they are human babies or dolphin calves, rely on their parents for everything from feeding to learning how to interact with their environment. So, you see, the journey from birth to adulthood is not just about growing bigger. It's also about changing in appearance and behavior to become independent, capable adults. It's quite a journey from being a baby animal to growing up, isn't it? How do animals survive in the wild? It's all thanks to their amazing adaptations. Now what do we mean by adaptations? Well, adaptations are special features or behaviors that animals have developed over time to help them survive in their particular environment. Let's dive into some examples. 
Picture a chameleon. What's the first thing that comes to mind? That's right, its ability to change color. This is a physical adaptation that helps it blend into its environment, making it harder for predators to spot. Pretty clever, right? Then there's the cheetah, the fastest land animal. Its speed is a remarkable adaptation, allowing it to chase down even the quickest prey. But it's not just about speed. The cheetah's slender body and large nostrils, which allow for more oxygen intake, are also adaptations that enable it to maintain that incredible speed. But adaptations aren't only physical, they can be behavioral too. Take meerkats for example. These little critters have a lookout system where one meerkat stands guard while the others forage for food. This behavior, developed over generations, helps protect the group from predators. So as you can see, whether it's a physical feature like the camouflage of a chameleon, or a behavior like the meerkat's guard duty, adaptations are nature's way of equipping animals with the tools they need to survive. With these adaptations, animals can thrive in their habitats, no matter how challenging they may be. We've had quite an adventure in the animal kingdom today, haven't we? We've discovered that animals have unique traits that either stay the same or change, seen how different creatures move in their own special ways, and explored the amazing journey animals take from birth to adulthood. We even learned about their cool adaptations that help them survive in the wild. So, the next time you see an animal, remember, it's on a fascinating journey of growth and change, just like you.